Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Today, I'm walking back from the path I took to the Dark Bottom boss fight there, and I met up with this guy, Auramon, one of the new rare enemies you can... well, not rare, but just a new enemy you can meet up with around here. So basically, what he does is he uses that... what is it? Doom attack, or whatever it is, countdown, and... When it reaches zero, guess what happens? You die! So, yeah, what? it's basically a damage race, pretty much. Although they're not really damaging... He's not really damaging me that much. I don't know if I really needed to use Cry against him, but I figured the battle will last long enough for it to be worthwhile. So, just... Oh, you know, I forgot to equip the, uh, the Ragnarok sword on him. Come on, please kill him! Before Cecil dies. Woo! Alright! Barely got that one in. Thanks, Rosa! Okay, but anyway, yeah, we got uh, the Ragnarok Sword, which is immensely more powerful than anything else in the game. Well, except the more ultimate stuff, but... Uh, yeah, so even though it's wholly elemental, it's still totally worth it. Unless you're really having Cecil doing some tanking in the fight, like against behemoths or something. And I'm almost back to the previous floor, so might as well just finish walking back on screen. And then we'll continue on the other path. Let's... Ah, there's the last new enemy. I thought I'd met up with him before, but I was looking for my episodes and I didn't see that. So... I don't know, maybe I just totally missed it while I was reviewing it, but... Well, I'll just go over this guy again anyway, he'll be really quick. Uh, basically, Little Murderer, he casts Libra on himself to show that, Hey, I'm weak to lightning! I'm weak to lightning! Use lightning on me! Please! I'm not trying to trick you or anything! No, but he is. And you do not want to use lightning on him. If you want to see what happens when he does use lightning on you, watch my first LP of this game. <laughs> so, yeah, he just basically, like, spams lightning spells on you over and over and over again. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, just attack him normally, and you'll be fine. So, okay, well, that's all those guys there. So, let's head on back. Now, let's see. There's a little bit to the right there that I missed on the map there. So, let's fi finish that up. I really hope that's the last little bit I need. And I didn't, like, miss a little corner somewhere. I missed a corner, didn't I? Yep. But I don't know where it is. Okay. Well, I'll take a moment to try and figure this one out somewhere. And I'll be right back. Ah, there it is. Yeah, uh, it was right at the entrance there. They probably started me, like, beyond the little corner at the start there. And, yeah, I hate it when they do that. <laughs> oh, well. Not the end of the world. We got it. So, hooray! I should probably buy some Phoenix Downs at some point in time. I'm probably going to leave the dungeon to buy more Fuma Shurikens before the final battle. In this battle. Well, no, not this battle. After this one. Okay, took care of those guys easily enough. That was just a uh, Dark Sage and two Moon Maidens. Easy enough. But for defeating them, we get the Minerva Bustier. I think that's how you pronounce it. But, yeah, so it basically lets the ladies become actual physical attackers. So if you're, like, using um, bows and arrows, or if you like Rydia with a whip, a dominatrix outfit, I don't know. But uh, you could use that, and that would help them out. But I'm not doing that, because I want the ladies to be magic casters, just like they're supposed to be. Well, that's what they're, uh, they're inclined to do with their stats. So, okay, so... Let's uh, head on up to the right, then. No more map filling here. But we do have more boss time coming up here. Oh, is there a little bit up there? I'm paranoid now. Okay, I hope if there's something, like, right in the back corner of that thing, I hope I got it. But yeah, I'll just hug the outside for this one. And we got another save point coming up here. So let's use that. Um, how are we doing on MP? Um, no, I don't think I need to, uh, use a cottage or tent or anything. But I do want to go up here. 
I don't think this was in the 2D versions of the game, was it? I forget. I played so many different versions of this game, they all kind of blend together. So, okay. Well, what I am going to do, though, is I am going to save here. Because we got a couple boss fights garden, more ultimate gear. Not more than ultimate, just regular ultimate. Okay, get that little corner down there and head on up here. Okay, let's see. We got another weapon there. Okay, let's see. Now against this guy, let's see. Cecil, I want you on the Ragnarok. You're good there. Let's see. Kane, what do we got? Let's see, anything that's... I don't think there's anything stronger than that. No, I, th I think we're pretty good with the Wyvern Lance. If you don't have it, though, give him the Poison Axe. That would be probably just as good. Let's see. Dragon Gear all around. Edge. Let's see. I'm just going to have you throw Fuma Shurikens. And... Okay! Yeah, I think that's uh, good. Let's do it! This one is also a damage race. For boss time! Against Mr. The Plague. Or Plague Horror. So, okay. So, first things first. Let's go Fuma Shuriken. You go dual cast holy. Kane, Cry, Rydia. Uh, Rydia! There we go. Flare, go Don's Love there. And that should do the trick. Uh, probably should have waited for Kane to cry, but that's okay. We'll be fine. But yeah, it's just basically a clock on you, and he does that too. So, that the reason he's casting haste on us is so that we will die faster. But it, he neglects to do any protection on himself, so I'm just going to kill him even faster than that. And yeah, with dual casting... Holy cow! Oh, wow. That was enormously easier than I remember. <laughs> well then. The next boss fight, not so easy. Haha! <laughs> But, all right, we got him. And for defeating him, we get the Holy Lance, the ultimate lance in the game. Although, I think it's actually a little weaker than the Wyvern Lance, if I recall correctly. Although, maybe they changed it in this version. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, okay, Holy Lance is really good. Okay. They actually buffed it up. Like, before, like, heck, the Defender was better on Kane than the Holy Lance. But, yeah, I guess they buffed it up. I forgot about that. Okay, well, there we go. Didn't take any damage there, really, so... Yeah, let's just keep on moving on. And let's see. Okay, so we got... Let's see. I want... Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to think of... Oh, I need uh, white magic on Cecil there. So let's do that. If he gets a chance to use it, that is. Okay, Rydia, I want you to go Bard Song. And Edge, you'll be throwing shurikens as usual. And Kainton can do his thing. And... Okay, I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's check it out. Yeah, automatic boss fight. Whoa! This time we got a Lunasaur! It's only one, but he's immensely harder than he was before. So, first things first... I want to throw a shuriken at him. The reason is because he will counter physical attacks with Reflect. Uh, Rydia, I want you to use Haste March to speed up all my party members there. Cecil, I want you to use Protect on... Or maybe Shell on everyone would probably be better. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Rosa, let's get Kiraga on Cecil there to keep him alive. And I want to use Kiraja on him, because, well, he's undead. Now, the reason why I wanted to attack him is because I am paranoid. Or superstitious, or whatever. Now, when he doesn't have Reflect on himself, I'm not certain if this is true or not, but he seems to use Bad Breath a lot. And it is really, really damned annoying. But... If you attack him and get Reflect on him, 
I, I don't know if it changes his AI script or something, but he doesn't use it, like, nearly as often. So, it makes this fight a lot easier. That's my guess. Now, if you use summons on him, he will counter with a healing spell. So, that's why I've got, um... Ah, crap. That's why I've got, um... Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, that's why I've got Rydia casting, uh, Haste March. Uh, do I need healing? I don't know. Okay, I didn't really need healing. Oh, I meant to cast Kiraja on him. Rosa, can you, uh, heal quickly, please? Asuna, thank you. So, yeah, do not dispel his uh reflect you want to leave it on there besides rosa can do the job just fine with piercing magic so okay we're back uh. rosa oh yeah she's can, can someone hit rosa without killing her Okay, well, you're a toad, so I would admit. Well, let me see. Can I get Asuna on Rosa? Asuna? Thank you! So, yeah. Now, imagine starting this battle and him casting bad breath on your party over and over and over again. <sighs> Let's see, can I remedy myself, maybe? Imagine if the battle started this way and I had no way of dealing with any of this. Well, at least now, I'm, uh... I got Rose... Free? Game? Can I get a turn? A turn? This is a video game, right? I'm supposed to actually, you know, play the game? Play? Thank you. Okay, so, let's see, uh, do that. Oh, his reflect wore off. Maybe that's why he was so grouchy. I don't know. But anyway, okay, so, that resets. Oh, okay, well, okay, so, let's go Arise, Rydia, Kiraja, Lunasaur. I'm not even going to bother healing the other guys. I, I don't care anymore. I just want to kill this guy. I just hope that Rosa can get it in on time. That's all. That's all I ask. Rosa, are, are you going to take a turn today? Please? Thank you. There we go. Um, why don't you, like, X-Potion yourself or something? All right, Got him! I knew I was close. Whew. Man, that bad breath is just so annoying. Yeah, and they give us the ribbons after the fight. Thanks. Thanks, game. I don't think I'm going to have to deal with the status ailment, like, ever again. And now they give us the ribbons. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we got those two. I'm going to give them to Rydia and Edge, because they could use a magic defense. As you can see, the reason Rosa wasn't getting hit with the uh, bad breath as often is because she has a really, really good spirit stat. So that helps with her magic defense. So, okay, we got all that stuff going. Let's see, heal. Well, I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna just go back. Let me see. Can I? Oh, I can't even omnicast outside of battle? Huh. Okay. Fine. I'll, uh,. Well, what I want to do is I want to go back to the save point. So I'll just heal up that way. And, yeah, I suppose we could start the next part a little early. I wasn't really thinking about it, but we can do that. Okay, so, let's see. I think the cottage would restore all of our... Or undo all the status elements. I forget exactly. Well, we'll find out. And are we good? We're good. Okay, so now what I want to do is let's take a look at our equipment here. Okay, go gold hairpin. Yeah, 
seems odd having that on Rosa, because in the 2D versions it gave you an intellect boost, but... Okay, so we got that, white robe, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, no wait, that's the wrong thing. There we go, uh, rune armor, okay. Uh, let's see, we got crystal gear all decked around. Let's see, you're good there. Uh, I'm gonna keep you on the Holy Lands for now. Let's see, dragon gear all around, and you're good there too! Okay, good. Well, you know what? Let's save, because I don't want to have to risk having to do that all over again. And we got time for one more boss. Do I have safe travel on you, Cecil? I think I do. Good, good. Okay, well then, let's check it out. Now, we, we are in the lunar subterrain, but we're not at the core of the moon yet, where Zemus is. So, oh, there's one more. <laughs> I was like, I've almost made a wrong turn. So yeah, we still got a lot more to go here. There's going to be some new enemies down there too, so you want to be careful with that. They're, they're practically boss fights unto themselves. Not just because they have the music too. Okay, filled out that part of the map. And let's see. Did I fill out the map of the surface of the moon? I forget if I did that or not. I hope I did. But anyway, so what do we get here? Nothing! Very useful. Oh well. Okay, so we get new dialogue here. Yeah, but you actually have a conscience, Cecil. Well, why not? You're, you're just talking to yourself, Kane. Ah, well that's why you're not running away, huh? All of them? Okay, well, anyway, yeah, we got... Oh, um, no, I go to the left first. Make up your mind! The other left. The other other left? No. Nah. Oh, right, we got, uh... Nah, you know what, I'll save the new enemies for later. I want to actually, like, get through all the boss fights today. For the ultimate gear. Yeah, this place is a little picky with trying to fill out the map. So, even though they're long, narrow hallways, it can still be a little tricky. Alright. Uh, let's see, you can meet up with red dragons here. So, uh, one thing someone was uh, asking about, H.C. Bailey, why didn't you steal from the yellow or red dragons? Uh, because the red dragons do... Uh, you could steal a crystal ring from them, which would be really good. But it's like a 1% steal or something ridiculous like that. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. It's like, it's an ultra rare thing, so, no. Nah. Okay, so, let's see. Rosa, let's see, we got all your good stuff there. Let's see, Kane is good. Cecil, I want to be tanking here, so I'm going to have you on brace there. Now, let's get counter for you, too. Why not? And, let's see. Rydia, I want to be using Haste March again. So, okay. Good, good. Are we all at max? Yep, we are. Let's do it! The final ultimate weapon. For boss time against Ogopogo. O Ogopogo? I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway... Let's see, I want you to do that. Rosa, let's go with Haste on everyone. And Kiraja on everyone. Okay, Edge, I want you to... Oh, we only have one more Phoenix Shark. Okay, uh, let's see, King, use Cry. Rydia, go with a good Haste March there. Heal up so we can live to fight another day. And Cecil, I'm just going to keep you on standby there. Just in case. Uh, let's see. Now, even though he's basically a Leviathan clone... Oh, right. I can't throw anything. Okay, th Cherokins, I guess. Yeah, even though he's basically a Leviathan clone... Uh, do not! Do not cast Thunder on him. 
or he will kill you. Okay, uh, Kane, go with the good box line there. Cecil, you stand pat. Edge, you go with another shuriken. And stand pat there. Now, um, what was I saying there? Eh, I lost my train of thought. Whatever. Oh yeah, casting lightning. He'll counter with uh, Whirl, which is like basically tornado on all your party members. And if you use magic or summons on him, he will counter with Blaze on your party, and you won't survive that and another uh, Deluge. So that's why I'm having Rydia use Haste March because of all those annoying counters. Unfortunately, since I'm out of uh, Fuma Shurikens, this is going to take a little while. See, that's why I've got Cecil on Brace, so that way he doesn't die from this guy's physical attack. So basically, if you know what his counters are, which I do, then you don't have to worry about him killing you. You can just take your time. I mean, that's pretty much the secret with most of the bosses, really. And once you figure that out, then it's all easy from there. It's just taking a while because I don't, I don't have any magic going. But at least Kane's getting his turn really, really fast. Well, doing okay. There we go. Ha ha! Easy enough. You know, I think I even got time to... Well, no, no. I was thinking of uh, get, going through the rest of this area and showing all the new enemies, but now nah, we'll save that for next time. But all right, now we get the ultimate weapon in the game for Edge. So put that with the Murasame. He's all set and ready to go. So let's see how much that helps him out. Let's see, Masamune, hmm, not bad, not bad. Not nearly on the level of Kane or Cecil, but you're doing pretty good there for yourself. But will we reach the core of the moon to stop Zemus in time? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.